Champions League final, who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Scott McTominay. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And here's the line-up for Manchester United. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. United struggling to keep possession here. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Could cross it in here. Grealish. And that is defending of the highest order. Bruno Fernandes has it. More than decent this from United. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Foden. Can he find the right pass? Foden. And he stopped them in their tracks. Marcus Rashford passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead magnificent challenge to win it back Ruben Dias Vardiol Kevin De Bruyne Here's Grealish. De Bruyne. City pushing forward with options available. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Will he play it in? Tommy might really be able to trouble them here, but timely defending when it mattered. Kevin De Bruyne. Silva. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. Underway then in the second half. The two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Showing real 
patience. Can they forge ahead? a really good authoritative tackle throw in here Vardiol here's Grealish and defensive play to be applauded Scott McTominay Diogo Dallo on the ball. So half an hour remaining. And City with the ball again. Vadio. Ronaldo Silva. De Bruyne. Very quick thinking there. Diogo Dallo. Maguire. On to Juan Bissaka. Harry Maguire now. Here's Juan Bissaka. Good tackle. pieces can be so important let's see what City have been working on there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches and De Bruyne firing it over good piece of defending excellent assessment of the situation at the back Bruno Fernandes has it. Ruben Dias. Phil Foden now. Rodri. Dias. Foden. Foden. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Can they forge ahead? Off the post and back in play. Well, City can't believe they're not leading now. They were so close to snatching a the goal there. This will be a good finish. And there the move ends for now. City still on the attack as the minutes tick away can they come up with a winner using all his defensive acumen to cut it out a bit wasteful from City McTominay onto for now a very good challenge well, the stoppage time situation one minute here well that's it for the 90 minutes but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming up Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength-sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. 
on the break an effective challenge Rodri about stoppage time one minute to be added on and Manchester City will go to their bench Mateo Kovacic well read to ease the pressure and the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here Question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. Diogo Dallo. Lindelof now. Anthony. It's a fine United move in the making. hard to do it inside your own penalty area and a chance for Manchester United now from the corner late on in this game we take it short Mount a good and fair challenge Strong play here. Casemiro. Lindelof now. Maguire. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Rafael Varane. Anthony. Oh, the threat is there. is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances and the electronic board showing one additional minute after 120 minutes they cannot be separated and so in this Champions League final it comes down to a shoot and so the penalty shootout about to commence and as a player and he succeeds in finding the bottom corner and up he comes doing his best to remain focused and that was an exquisitely taken penalty. Superbly done. How many players would try that? And it's gone in. Can he convert? Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, dead centre with that penalty. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And it wasn't the greatest penalty, and it's been saved by the keeper. Well, a successful kick here, and that will be that. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion, and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of 
celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester United. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard.